Hi, I'm Jim Cayley from Mila Martini US, and I'm going to walk you through the Diamond MC Hybrid casing in line that we're showing here at Drupa on day two. Just to walk you through the line quickly for an orientation, we have a brand new infeed, which is designed to uh, optimize the flow of barcoded products, photo books, like size one off products coming into the line so we can divert products that do not fit the particular batch being run. More to come on that later. We then go through, proceed through the heating channel and then into the loading station. This section is the rounding and backing station, followed by our tandem bridge. We now have two headband backlining stations, so we can apply two different styles of backlining or two different styles of headbanding. In addition, this station can be reconverted back to run traditional crash or gauzing, giving the line considerable flexibility. We then progress into the case feeding area, where we have a split case feeder. I'll come back to that more when we get to that area, and then into the casing in station. We progress then into our press, uh, the EP, 340, and then out through our end-of-line stacker. I'm going to show you a couple of different book formats and how each of them are optimized for this particular production. At Drupa, we're producing these two books in two different formats with two different thicknesses and two different headband colors. We're able to run the first book. The line progresses, runs the books all the way through. When that run is finished, we've already set up the second headband station so that it can automatically engage and start up the second run without any delay. As books progress in through the heating channel, they come to the infeed where they're entering the book line in this orientation. They progress through to the rounding station where they're rounded and then to the backing station where they're twice backed so that the round is maintained and then they enter the bridge. Coming into the bridge, the bridge now has two backlining stations running backlining material with red headbands in this station and blue headbands in that station. So the first book can be produced using this station while this station can be automatically set up for the next run. When the first run is finished, we automatically change over to the second headband station without any delay. Here we have the split case hopper, which allows us to hold cases on the current run as well as load cases in for the next run so that we can automatically advance them and have that prepared when the line changes over to the second job. This is the commander console where book data is entered using the sliding scale and then we have two screens, the main commander screen where we use all the commands for setting up the line and controlling its operation as well as our barcode matching system for specialized barcode driven workflow where we make sure that we do not have any mismatches from book to book. The sliding scale allows us to measure a case, like so, like so, and like so. So we enter the parameters for the case. We do the same for the book block. We measure both the spine as well as the open edge. And each time we push the button to enter that variable. Here we have uh, another innovation related to our photo book technology, a nearline case scanner. We utilize the scanner to read the barcode on the case. We feed the cases through and collect them on the opposite side. We maintain the order of the case queue and we capture all of the individual barcode data which then can be transferred to the commander for the next job setup, ensuring reliability of the order of the cases so that there's no mismatch. Okay, after casing in, the books deliver onto the delivery table and progress into the EP. Now, this is a brand new EP design, again, utilizing servo technology. So we've eliminated a lot of the individual drives here and instead replaced them with discrete servo drives for independent action throughout the machine. We have our unique pressing system where we've further improved upon that with smart pressing so that we first press the book quickly and then we apply the joints and then repress again so the book is relieved and it's able to be cased in without bubbles, without wrinkles and without damaging the joint area. In the EP the books are held for a consistent six seconds of rotation without being released so that the joint and the pressing can be firm and precise. The books then exit the EP and progress into the stacker. The stacker is also very sophisticated and sets up automatically with the book line based on the formats. The books progress through the stacker without hitting any stops. They're controlled precisely so that they're not damaged or marked in any way. 
And that concludes the presentation.